good morning and good evening everyone in this video we are going to see about macros which is a salesforce feature and let's get into the video so macros introduction so macros is a salesforce feature which can be used to do a repetitive task which a user is doing within a single click so let's see an example consider if a user is doing a repetitive task on a daily basis like sending an email creating an event for records so in that area they can leverage macros and they can do those kind of actions within a single click which will reduce the execution time and increase the efficiency which will result in high productivity so in this way macros is much helpful to do a repetitive task so let's see the actions that a macro can do so there are certain set of actions that a macro can do that is sending an email logging a call creating an event and updating the case status users can use this kind of instructions to create a macro there is also a bulk macro feature which runs on multiple records at the same time so users can use that in the list view page like selecting multiple uh, records on the list view and they can run the any macro that they want there is also a consideration regarding the macros so any actions that have submit action on that those actions cannot be reversed that user should keep in mind in this slide we are seeing the permissions needed to run a macro so if a user only needs to run a macro then they need the macro object access to read and if a user needs to create a macro then user should need create object access in the object level there is also a bulk macro permissions required on the profile level which is called run macros on multiple records which is a system permissions required to run bulk macros and at last we will get into the demo so i will be considering service console app for the demo and in the utility bar the macros is not added it so for adding macros in the utility bar we need to navigate to the setup first first we will navigate to the setup in the quick find box we have to enter app manager and click on app manager So in the app manager we have to find the service console app so there we have a service console app for lightning and in and in the end we have the drop down and if we click on drop down there is an option called edit so it will open the lightning app builder page for us and here we can find the utility item section and if we click on utility item section there is history and notes and we have to add the macros so we have to click on add utility item and here we can see macros is here we click on macros after adding macros we can hit on save so here we have successfully added the macros to the utility bar and navigating back to the service console app and refreshing it and hiding this organizer here we can see that the macros is added successfully so for object access user should navigate to the profile that they want and give the access as they want so let's get into creation of macro so i have opened the case record and on the macros if you are open macro that small tab will open so for creation of new macro we have to click on this plus button so if i click on plus button it will ask a macro name so a macro name will be demo1 in this case and it is applied to the case object so let's save it and we can see the macro demo1 is created and in the instruction it is empty we have to add instructions 
so for adding instructions we have to click on edit instructions edit instructions are nothing but the repetitive task it, it is going to do so on clicking on edit instruction our salesforce page will open the app builder page for that so a fresh canvas is opened in this side and we can see the instruction on this side so on this macro builder page the the actions that a macro can do uh, is highlighted with the dotted lines so we can easily see what uh, which actions can a macro can do so there is one example record is opened in this side and we have instruction panel on this side so first i will be adding a first instruction so if i click on add instruction there are some red dotted lines highlighted so we can do this and all actions on the macro first action will be i will be sending an email to the contact that is related to this particular case so email is already selected so i will be navigating to write an email it is highlighted by the way so we have to click on add instruction button after that i will be sending an email at first so we have to click on write an email so which is hovered here we have highlighted with dotted lines so we can edit these fields on the macro level so you from and to will be automatically added because send email will be the user from user address is from the current user and to address will be the contact related to it so we can add a cc address so if i click on cc address it will have that particular field on the right side and we can give the email address that we need to add we can also change the actions as per we want we can uh, re replace the existing test or insert after it or insert before existing test this on the user level and bcc is added subject we can also edit the subject we don't want bcc on the subject this is demo subject and we can edit the email body after adding the email body i'll be changing the action to insert after existing text so it will insert this particular text after this particular link http www.salesforce.com so this text will be added after this so after editing all the fields that we want we have to click on send so that it will save one particular actions within one particular instruction so now the first instruction is done which will send an email to the particular contact so for the next instruction we have to click on add instruction again and click on any actions that we want to do so for the next action i will be creating a new task all the fields are highlighted with dotted lines so we can edit whatever we want i am going to add subject which is an pick list and due date so whatever fields we have here if we click on that it will be added here so that we can edit and add the values that we want 
and it is assigned to and I will be changing the status of the task to in progress and after click after editing all these fields and on clicking on save it will save the second instruction a creating a new task so we have two instructions the first instruction is for mail and second is for creating a new task for the next instruction we have to click on add instruction again and we are going to create a call log and we can see email uh, the fields are highlighted and I will be adding a comment demo call log which will replace the existing text and after editing all the fields and we can save it at last we have the third instruction as well which creates a log call last but not least we are adding one more instruction which updates the case case status so i am clicking on this particular layout that is there and here we can see select update case action is added we can see whatever fields that we can edit so i will be editing the status first on clicking on that that plus button we are seeing here the status is status is can be edited I am changing the status to from new to working and priority to low to high and the description in the description we we can add anything send an email and created a task and a call log is created which will replace the existing text and if the field editor editing is done we can click on save so this save actions will be done and we have the fourth instruction as well so for this instructions to be done manually it will take a lot of time so for a macro a macro can do within a within a fraction of a macro can do within a 10 within 10 seconds after so after adding all the instructions user should click on save so we can see the changes are saved and the instructions are saved to this particular macro and we can come out of this app builder and to the record page so on refreshing this page demo 1 and we can see the first instruction new task second instruction log call third instruction and update case action fourth instruction all of this has submit action so we can see on the help text as well uh, this action cannot be undone so which actions which has submit action it cannot be undone so a macro is successfully created and we can see how the macro runs so for that I will be opening a new case record and we can see the contact is here and we also have the actions that are there so for running a macro there is a shortcut for that and if we click on M and simply on keyboard we can see the macros created for that particular object and we have to click on which macro we want to run and if it is clicked we can see run macro button here if we click on run macro on which will run on this particular record and we can see the first instruction is executed and the email is sent and it goes to the second instruction creating a new task
it is also created and it is going to the third instruction logging a call it is also created and in the fourth instruction we can see it is the status is changing to working and the priority changes to high and in the description we can see sent email created task log is created whatever we gave in that particular description it it populated here so if a user is doing these actions manually it will take a uh, near about 3 or 4 minutes but if a macros doing it it will do within a 10 seconds or 20 seconds so in this way macros are most useful feature for the user who is doing repetitive tasks and it can be used anywhere on standard or custom objects in this way macros can be helpful and thank you